Normally when the water wisteria grow so tall that they are nearly touching the surface, I cut them in half and replant them in this tank one of these pieces of Mopani driftwood has blackbeard algae on the top so I want to replace these with some other driftwood ornaments and this should also give me an opportunity to see just how many autosynclus I have left at this point As I carefully remove the driftwood, autosynclus should go scurrying. I'll make sure I don't carry any shrimplets out of the tank and the many folds of the surface of this driftwood. There's one auto sinkless in the corner there. There's another one right below the heater. Over here you can see the third auto sinkless. So thankfully, I still have three autosynclus. Here I have two pieces of Malaysian driftwood. Originally this was one piece, but as it deteriorates, it's split in half. So it has a nice flat bottom. And what I'd like to do is mount both pieces to slate. I previously bought mounted pieces of driftwood on this slate, which is long gone. But the manufacturer put holes in the slate and I purchased stainless steel screws so that they won't react at all with the water, possibly poison fish or shrimp. What I need to do is drill holes in the bottom to start these screws, because if I just force them in there, it's liable to split. But if I put starter holes in there, hopefully it'll mount nicely. There we go. Two pieces of driftwood mounted to slate. Very carefully, very slowly, add the driftwood ornaments. I'm hopeful that I don't crush any shrimplets. It's going to be difficult to avoid that amongst the gravel. Hopefully if I go slowly enough I'll have the chance to get out of the way. Maybe if I kind of scoop the gravel with the slate. Yeah. I like to get these close together. It 
so that's at least partially obscure the heater and the intakes of the hang on the back filters I'm not sure if the auto sinkless really need a heater I know the shrimp don't but I believe auto sinkless like to have it at least in the 70s so I'll leave the heater for now auto sinkless seem to be doing fine this is the final setup I added some more gravel and potting soil on the left so that I could replant the tops of the water wisteria that I removed at the beginning of the video. Attach some java moss to these driftwood ornaments so as that grows in as it's done on the smaller pieces of driftwood in the back I think this should come together nicely.